before operating the fluidized bed, make sure all safety precautions are met. Proper lab attire consisting of long pants, closed-toed shoes, and safety goggles must be worn when operating the fluidized bed column. Turn on the air supply valve to the system. Before turning on the air supply to the bed, mark and record the initial height of the column and ensure the top of the column is covered and the powder in the bed is approximately level. The side of the fluidized bed can be tapped to level the powder. Slowly introduce air into the system by opening the airflow meter valve. If the bed starts to slug, reduce the flow of air to the column by closing the valve slightly. Slugging can occur if the powder absorb moisture or the fluidized bed has not been used for an extended period of time. Once the bed is fluidized, remove the cap and increase the air flow rate until the flow meter reads 100%. The bed should be vigorously bubbling at this point. If not, contact the lab supervisor. Lower the airflow rate, stopping at 10 equal increments until you reach zero flow. This video As demonstrates the determination the following of the minimum fluidization velocity the flow procedure rate with respect to the column pressure bed drop in the unit operation the approximate bed height at Lafayette College. The nature of the fluidization. Once the airflow rate is decreased, increase the airflow in the same increments and record the same data as before. To determine the minimum fluidization velocity, prepare a graph of bed height versus percent airflow for the ascending data because the decreasing data will not provide a minimum fluidization velocity. The minimum fluidization velocity is found where the slopes of the graph points change. In this Excel chart, trend lines are found for both portions and the equations are set equal to each other to solve for the percent flow of minimum fluidization. To shut down the apparatus, ensure the heat gun is turned off and unplugged. Slowly decrease the airflow to about 20% and shut off the air supply valve. Then completely shut the airflow valve to 0%. To learn more about the operation of the fluidized bed, watch the related videos on the Lafayette CHBE YouTube channel.